Today, let's build the absolute best DeX setup we can for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I guess the entirety of the S24 lineup. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, iFixit. I've been talking about this for a little over a month now, but I do think the versatility S24 Ultra and the S24 is really in that you can take this, plug it into an existing desk setup, and essentially have a home computer inside of your phone. So let's do that today. The first step you're gonna need though is some kind of a dock. This dock and overlaid is the exact dock that I'm talking about from a company called JSAW, JSAW, JSAUCE? JSAW is pretty much everything you need to get this up and running. So this particular dock has an ethernet port. I do use a wired network in my home office. It's got three USB-A ports for things like keyboards, mice, my headset, we'll see in a second. Uh, I know everybody's always like, ah, USB-A is dead, laptop makers don't put it on there anymore. But accessory manufacturers have not yet totally caught up with the fact that USB-A is dead. So you still need that. It's got HDMI and USB-C for power delivery, which is really great. So we're gonna step through each of the things that I'm gonna plug into this, then we're gonna plug the phone in and you'll see everything, oh, all the magic. Magic. <laughs> so first off, let's talk the mouse. I always use the Logitech MX Master 3 line as my home computer mouse. This is the MX Master 3 S, the updated version. It's fantastic, it just, it fits perfectly in the hand. It's not super heavy, but it's also not too light. It rides that fine ground of just how comfortable a mouse can be. It's got some customizable buttons here on the side. It's got the horizontal scroll wheel as well as the vertical scroll wheel. I find that to be very important when I'm video editing so often. And then most importantly, it charges from the front. So if you are a former or current Apple user, you will know that using the Magic Mouse, uh, if you gotta charge it, well, you can't, well here, you can do both. To plug this in, we are gonna use the transceiver for Logitech. You could Bluetooth this in to the phone, but I always find sometimes the Bluetooth connections can have some wonkiness with them. So I use the Logitech transceiver to kind of circumvent that. Plus, if you end up using a Logitech keyboard, you could pair both devices to the same transceiver. It's just, I prefer it that way. You could just Bluetooth it like a normal person, I guess. So step one. One thing plugged in. Next up, we've got my keyboard. This is a Ducky 1-3. It's not the mini. They also make a mini version that's about yay big. I like mechanical keyboards. I like this sound. Sounds pretty good. But I also like full keyboards. I like having a number pad. I'm a program manager in my day job. Being able to do things in Excel faster is important to me. So I will use the full size keyboard. This combination right here, I mean, this is my personal desk setup. I make lots of these videos. I've had many chances to iterate on this. This is the perfect mouse keyboard combination for me. I love it, it's just so good. So let's plug this in and then we will USB-A, again, USB-A is everywhere, to the dock next. Also, one thing to note, uh, this is more important to me as I get older. I do use a wrist pad. One of the things about using big bulky mechanical keyboards is, can you see this? Uh, it's kind of aggressive if you're gonna lay your wrists on the table. Some people will advocate for typing with your hands floating. I type all day long, I don't feel like doing that. So just get some kind of a wrist pad so you can stay in an ergonomic position and you're not uh, giving yourself carpal tunnel. This is just a, a wrist pad that I had from a Logitech mechanical keyboard. Uh, you can buy these palm rests for like nothing on Amazon, but if you already have one, just it's probably good, just keep using it. We don't have to plug this into the dock though. This is just my public service announcement for all of us millennials that are waking up every day a little bit older. <laughs> Thanks again to iFixit for sponsoring today's video. You can learn how to fix just about anything at iFixit.com. Search through thousands of free repair guides and find the high quality parts and precision tools to fix your phones, laptops, game consoles, and so much more. Let's say you are somebody that still needs a traditional laptop instead of, uh, you know, a phone that does all of this stuff for you. iFixit is the absolute best place to work through laptop repair and their laptop fix kits can help you drastically along the way. These contain all the spare parts plus all of the tools that you might need to fix or even upgrade your very own laptop. So go to their website today by clicking on that easy link in the description and find your fix. Okay, next, for USB-A, I do use both in my work and in my play when I'm playing World of Warcraft Classic. I need to talk to people either on Discord, on Teams, stuff like that, and I don't wanna set all this up every time I wanna to chat to somebody. I use a Razer headset. I don't actually know the specific model number. How often do you remember model numbers for products that you just buy off the shelf? Again, I will overlay this specific model as we're talking. This works also through USB-A to a little transceiver. I really like this one. I have tried so many like gaming headsets that I just find so uncomfortable and I can't wear them for long periods of time. They really start to hurt my ears uh, when they're on, but this one, 
is super comfortable. Like I can wear this and have, uh, if we're going to be embarrassing and talk about how much I play World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery is pretty awesome. I wear these for a very long time. They're very comfortable. The sound quality is good. Uh, the mic quality is okay, right? You're not going to get professional audio sounding out of it, but it's good enough for Teams meetings and it's good enough for gaming. Uh, one of the things you may note, and I guess this depends on whatever organization you work for, I try to keep my camera off as much as possible. So when people are talking to me at work, they just hear good audio. They don't see the big gamer headset. If you are somebody that works on camera a little more, uh, your mileage may vary on that. So plugged in, we've got the three USB-A totally full at this point. Next up, it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna plug in the power delivery. For this, I'm just using a pretty standard USB-C cable. I'll show you the power. I can't show you the power adapter like in hand right now, but I use an old RAV power power adapter. It looks very similar to this one. I really like this one for a couple of reasons. One, it's very easy to travel with. I do a lot of work traveling. I'm actually leaving for another work trip tomorrow. Uh, so I gotta get this video edited here pretty quick, but it also works really well in the house. And I find that duality, especially if you're gonna use something like a phone for your main computer, to be very important. Like your tech has to work both to travel, but also it's gotta work conveniently when you're set up here. We've got the power delivery plugged in. Now we're gonna plug into my Ultra Gear monitor. And you'd like, I'm not even gonna say the monitor that this is, cause it's a stupidly expensive gaming monitor that I definitely don't need but it's, it's pretty good uh, and I enjoy it. Here's a few key monitor recommendations that I would make so that you can uh, have the opportunity to pick for yourselves, especially if you're doing something like DeX. Uh, I don't think you need a 240 hertz gaming monitor to make that happen. And now we've got our dock 100% set up and ready to go. One thing to note is you will need a desk for all of this stuff to sit on. I use a desk from a company called Very Desk. No, they're not sponsoring this video. Keynote, nobody is sponsoring today's video. This is all stuff that I've purchased myself. But I like a good solid standing desk. You can see it moves up or down depending on what you need. I always generally keep it as low as possible. Yes, I understand the irony that I got a standing desk because it goes lower than regular desks so that I can sit down better. I like sitting down. I like being comfortable when I'm working. Mm. We can get some work done right here. I use this standing desk. I like the reclaimed wood. I believe this topper is called. It just looks good. It feels good. On top of that, I have a leather desk pad from a company called Galloway Leather. I've actually been talking about these desk pads for a long time. The one that I originally talked about with the M1 MacBook Air accessory videos from like four years ago. That one got all kinds of gross because I, I eat down here and you probably shouldn't eat at your desk, but it got gross. I got rid of it. I had a different desk topper a little bit ago, but then I went back. I bought another Galloway leather one. Okay, so we've got everything set up. Let's plug in the S24 Ultra and see how the desk setup works. Also something you may need if you work in a basement office is a duster. It may not be part of the desk setup, but if you want to keep the desk setup clean, uh, it gets dusty down in my office. Okay, we plug it in. We set it down. Boom, boom, boom connected to external display, and there you go. Look at that. We are all set up. Can you see it? Hold on. Okay, just wanted to make sure you could see it. We are now set up full on index mode. We could do our meetings. Probably not gaming as much, or at least for me, because again, World of Warcraft doesn't work on decks. But I just love this. Like right here, you saw the components. They're not very expensive components. The most expensive component in this whole thing is obviously the monitor, which you can go much cheaper than what I have purchased for this. You can do everything that I normally need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Google Docs, Google Sheets, they all open super fast because you've got the mouse and the keyboard. Even easier, Discord. Who isn't on Discord like all the time chatting to everybody? Look, how, do I got any, I've got notifications waiting for me right now that I should probably work through as soon as uh, I'm done chatting here. We also have access to the internet. We have, I mean, I'm not gonna show you everything. The S24 Ultra and the S24, they work smooth. They've got processors inside of them that make this great. This is just a great experience that I really have been impressed by. I could do my entire life from this if I wasn't a YouTuber, right? So I think this is the absolute best desk setup that we could build. And it was a lot of fun doing it. And if you like this video and you want to see my thoughts on the S24 Ultra one month later, you can click right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.